you can win the Hunger Game. And in this video, we're going to share some tips on how you too can win the Hunger Games. Apples provide nutrients with a tasty and fairly sweet flavor. They are one of the healthiest snacks you can eat. Apples come in all shapes and sizes with many wonderful tastes. Apples contain vitamin C, which is an antioxidant, which may deter ulcers caused by bacteria and stomach infections and that may cause you to experience symptoms similar to hunger. Apples also have vitamin K, E, A, and many B vitamins, as well as trace elements of numerous minerals. A medium-sized apple has fewer than 100 calories. Now let's talk about that 100 calories. You know, in the Metafast diet that we originally started four years ago on and, and came up with the Saturday morning diet, was that they gave you a 100 calorie meal every hour, or every two hours rather, and then you had a salad at night and over time you would lose weight. And that's when we realized that we were paying $300 a month for a diet plan when basically the diet plan came to eating 100 calories every two hours. So here is an inexpensive way that's tasty, delicious, healthy, to have 100 calories every two hours. Follow that. You know, most of us don't eat fruits, and this is why most of us have gotten so heavy. You know, fiber, uh, medium-sized apples naturally contain roughly four and a half grams of fiber. Apples include two forms of dietary fiber, insoluble and soluble. Soluble fiber, such as pectin, is located primarily in apple skin and aids in lowering cholesterol levels. Insoluble fiber, such as cellulose, is located primarily in the apple cords and pulp. Insoluble fiber resists, resists constipation because it stimulates routine bowel movements. The fibers in apples can combine to reduce your hunger because they stay a longer while in your stomach and don't cause a spike in blood sugar levels that cause you to get hungry shortly after eating. If you keep your blood glucose levels fairly even, you will avoid hunger pains. And this is something that uh, many of us struggle with. It's this up and down of the sugar levels, and that's what causes this vicious cycle of hunger. You know, uh, we have come to the conclusion that eating a lot of uh, wheat products, uh, anything to do comes from wheat, pasta, bread, cereal, all these items cause your blood sugar to spike. So by having an apple, when not only are you getting multiple vitamins and minerals, but you're also getting a good source of fiber. In that regard, there's fructose in apples. Apples are a good source of fructose, which makes it a little more, that takes a little more time to digest than sucrose found in sugary snacks and most baked goods or the lactose found in dairy products. Fructose gives you sustained energy and makes you feel saturated for longer periods of time, which can help hunger pains at, can keep hunger pains at bay. In contrast, sugary snacks are digested more quickly cause higher spikes in blood sugar and insulin release and cause you to feel hungry sooner. Fructose is the predominant sugar in all fruit. And this is a very, very important point. That sugar spiking up and down, again, is what causes you to be so hungry. And it goes back to why sugary snacks and most baked goods are not good for you because they basically turn into sugar once you consume them. That donut in the morning, that bagel in the morning, the worst thing you can eat. Because right away, an hour or two later, you're hungry again. And this is where the apple may come in handy. If you can't keep away from that bagel, or you can't keep away from that donut in the morning, or you don't eat the right things in the morning, because we recommend oatmeal and you don't have your oatmeal breakfast, have an apple. Here's some tips. It's important to drink water if you're going to add apples to your daily food intake. Apple fiber can cause abdominal pain and constipation because the apple fiber can block your intestinal system. 
you know, that's a very important feature that if you all of a sudden start to add fiber to your diet, which you probably don't have much of now, and we also tell you in various videos to take in Metamucil every morning, two tablespoons. In any case, avoid drinking apple juice because the concentration of sucrose sugar will cause your blood to spike. So keep away from those concentrated sugars. Eat the apple whole because the peptin that lowers cholesterol is in the peel. Eat the apple slowly and take smaller bites to increase the saliva during digestion and will lessen hunger. Always keep apples in the house if you really want to win the hunger game. And that's the bottom line. We don't eat enough fruits. And that's why this wonderful, tasty, delicious fruit, which comes in a ready package, in its own packaging, apples. Put them on your, your list of things to do. Pick up just a few apples that will keep fresh. Don't buy a, a huge bag of them. Buy three or four apples, consume them, get another batch free. Now here on this slide, we show you the health benefits of apple. Neurological prevention of dementia, cardiovascular decreased cholesterol level, lungs decreased cancer risk, colon decreased uh, cancer risk, systematic prevention of overweight, and three, and the most important for us men, is the prostate, decreased risk of cancer. So if your husband is not eating an apple, get everybody in the family to start eating apple. They're cheap, they stand well, you keep them in the refrigerator, they taste great. And now on the next slide, I'm going to show you the different apples that you can choose from. Now choose the best variety of apple for snacking, salads, sauces, baking, and pies. They all have their different uh, benefits and uh, why they taste better in one thing than the other. Now, you can pause this video and take a, take a look and see which ones would be appropriate for you. We, pre we prefer ourselves the Red Delicious Apple. We also like the, uh, the Ginger Gold. They taste delicious, have a really good, and also don't forget the Macintosh. So I'm going to put this uh, piece on the uh, website so you could download it. Okay, now, we're going to ask that you please subscribe and share this video with everyone on your email list. Please share this. Help us grow this channel. Also, you can help support our free video tutorials. You know, uh, YouTube has made it available a thing called fan funding which is on our channel on the youtube channel on the right hand side you'll see that box with the red arrow it says support this channel help us keep creating these free educational videos that will take you to the next page which is support joan diet bars you could give one dollar i'm happy to get one dollar you could give five dollars or if you feel that we have more value to you than that you could put another amount that, that you like. So again, we want to thank you. And please keep up dieting. Keep trying to lose that weight because it's doable. Other people do it. Why can't you? Why can't I? Thanks again. See you on the next video.